all code carters are small, fun, well-defined problems that help you to improve your coding skills. Yahtzee is a classic exercise based on a fun and popular dice game. It's well suited for practicing test-driven development and refactoring. In this video, I'd like to explain more about this top code cutter and hopefully persuade you to have a go at it. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. Welcome to my channel. If you like what you see here, please subscribe and like this video. You can also support me and my work maintaining an extensive collection of code cutters via my Patreon. Games and puzzles often make good code carters, and Yahtzee is a particularly good one. It's a dice game with five dice and a score sheet. But the heart of the code carter is to work out how much you will score for a given dice roll in a given scoring category. So thinking of some interesting dice rolls and working out how to score them is a nice little problem. The Yahtzee code carter is straightforward to divide and conquer so you can make steady progress towards a full solution. There is also a great refactoring version of this exercise. If I roll five dice and two of them are sixes, I can score that in the Yahtzee category called pair and I'll get 12, the sum of two sixes. And I could write a unit test for that and I can make that pass. But what if I roll five dice and three of them are sixes? What do I get when I score that in the pair category? Well, it depends who you ask. In my version of the rules, you still get 12, which is a score for a pair of sixes. Some people, however, take a different interpretation of the rules and say that if you get three sixes, that's no longer a pair, so you'll get zero. So before you start working on this code carter, you need to establish which version of the rules you're using. I've documented my version on salmoncoaching.org with loads of illustrative examples. And obviously, I think it's the best version of the rules. However, it's not actually the only version. I learned this code carter from John Jagger. John is a fantastic programmer and a technical coach who also invented CyberDojo. That's an online coding environment that makes it very easy to get started with test-driven development and to practice it in a group. I've benefited greatly from John's work, and the Saman Society is a proud sponsor of CyberDojo. Notably for Yahtzee, it's one of the exercises included in that tool, both as a TDD carter and as a refactoring carter. But with John Jagger's version of the rules, and obviously I think my version of the rules is so much better and more logical, but I do concede there is more than one way to play this game. There's also more than one way to spell the word Yahtzee. 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 More importantly, there is definitely more than one way to write the code. We're using five six-sided dice and we don't worry about the part of the game where you roll them and re-roll them. The interesting part to write code for is the scoring. The score depends on the specific five dice in your roll and the scoring category that you choose. Pair is one, as I mentioned, but there are actually about 20 different categories in total. And you can write a function for each category or one big function that works out them all. In either case, you'll need to decide how to design the code to avoid repeating your logic, since many of the categories are scored very similarly. One thing that both John Jagger's and my versions of the Carter description has is an extensive list of examples. If you're doing this exercise from scratch, starting from an empty editor using test-driven development, the Carter description will more or less lead you through it, test by test. The refactoring version of this Carter is also very popular and worth doing. It was invented by John Jagger, and I forked it in order to fix the rules, obviously. But all the genius of the bad code is from John. The beauty of this refactoring Carter is the code is so inconsistent. Important domain concepts appear in several places with different names. And mixed in with ordinary class methods, there are static functions. The argument lists of the methods and functions have different names and types, even though they're all conceptually the same five dice. Sorting out this mess is so satisfying. If you've got good refactoring tools, you'll be able to make good use of rename, extract method, inline method. 
You might also find change signature helpful to sort out all those inconsistent method signatures. In any case, you'll want to work in small steps, running the tests often to catch any mistakes. Why don't you try out the Yahtzee top code carter with your favorite programming language and your favorite refactoring tools? You can get hold of the code on my GitHub or in CyberDojo. When you're choosing an exercise, you can get the TDD version on the first screen, but if you switch the custom problems, you get the refactoring version. It's got it in C, C Sharp, C++, Java, and Python. I've actually got quite a few more languages than that in my fork on GitHub. Many thanks to all of my contributors and Patreons. Which version has the best version of the rules, do you think? Do leave me a comment and happy coding.